goblins ahead. A war drum. One of those can summon fighters far and wide. Another step forward. Look it, Claw. Sapper's here. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight. Let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? Goblins don't come by the handfuls, but by the dozens. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. She's a little overexcited. Been a busy day. Lads are celebrating. Who? If he ain't one of us, and if he's here, he's down in the pits. Down in the pits, no less. Sounds ominous among creatures that love blood sports. Better step to it. Sounds like they've captured themselves a bard. Goblins aren't known for their cleanliness, but by Mistress Mantle, this place is rotten. The fewer breaths we take here, the better. A new age is dawning with Ah, drink it in. That sweet, sweet chaos. <sighs> Not that I approve of goblins, of course, filthy little beasts, but I do like a good den of debauchery. Goblin parties are so much more fun than anything you'll find in Baldur's Gate. Or the hells, for that matter. Not that I'm suggesting we stop for a drink, of course. Fresh dissolve with me bare hands. Weaker than pixies, humans. Ha oh, ha ha you got him good. And who are you? Another pest? Humans. Think you rule the world. Ah. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Everyone says that, and then they spit in our faces. But no more. Things are changing. We got the absolute on our side now. You better learn your place. Go on, kiss my foot. Or I'll wipe that nasty look right off your face. Well, go on, give him a nibble. I feel I should warn you that the average goblin foot is host to some two dozen toe-curling diseases. What was that? You on your chief, Noctin. I can do that. Show us what you got! Wait! I, I, I yield! I yield! How about you make him kiss your feet next? Pungent poetic justice. Yes! Yes! I've done it. <laughs> My, this place is fun. I hope you learned your lesson, young man. Stupid dead bastard! Give him a good kicking! He deserves it! He killed my mum and dad! Made a bloody awful 
dozen of me. It's as good a reason as any, I suppose. Loss holds hands with grief, even among goblins. I ain't bothered about it. Better off without them. Stupid old geezers should have part more of a fight. Don't mean we can't enjoy putting the boot into this prick of stick, though. Well, so much for my previous sentiment. Amid all this grandeur sunk into squalor, I wonder what dismal corner we'll find Halcyn in. Let's hope we find him in one piece. True souls are infected like us. Why do they think they're talking to a god? As long as we're possessed of our own free will, I venture to say there's hope for us yet. So, it's a weapon they seek. Could they be referring to the artifact? If that's the case, we've got more problems than just the worms in our heads. Suga Nansukuk! The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Absolute's clutches. Your skull sizzles with Ragslin's displeasure. His mouth is still, but you hear his demand. I speak for the Absolute, and I say, you stay. I've got plans for you, boy. And there's no true soul yet who turned their back on the Absolute. Heretic! So, well done. No doubt anyone will mourn this wicked mouthpiece of the Absolute. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but... Goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. I must admit, I didn't expect anyone would come to my aid. Who in their right mind would infiltrate a goblin-infested temple? Unless... Uh, that look in your eyes... I've seen it before. 
Are you feeling all right? <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayers spawn. But... something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Hmm... That looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers. They do not belong on this world. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles, but I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. Gladly, but first I must return to the Grove. As you made short work of the Goblin's leaders, there's nothing stopping me. Come join me in your own time. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. The echoes of the drumbeat fade to silence. For percussionist, 